welcome. Now it's no surprise that Volcanic is a pretty popular archetype, being a GX era anime deck with a decent amount of competitive success under its belt. But what it's unfortunately better known for is Konami's complete indifference to the deck, with the strategy going years without any viable cards. But the new duels pack, that might all change, as the deck now has access to a brand new wave of cards that might be just what the deck needed to break into the meta once again. So to jump straight into things, here's a quick replay of what that can do going first. And it's a hand of Volcanic Blitz Accelerator, Ecclesia the Virtuous, Volcanic Shell, Nadir Servant, and Trooper. To start off with, I'll go ahead and activate Nadir Servant, dumping Garura to draw one, as well as searching Ecclesia. Then I'll activate Blitz Accelerator, dumping the other Accelerator, and I'll use its effect to special summon the Trooper from my hand. Afterwards, I can use Trooper's effect to go ahead and search, in this case, searching out Rocket, which I can again go ahead and normal summon because I haven't used that yet, and search out Blaze Slater Reload. Then I use Trooper's effect, discarding the Blaze Slater Reload to summon a bomb token to the opponent's field. Then I use Blaze Slater to dump from my deck to the grave Rimfire to destroy the opponent's token, and trigger Rimfire to go ahead and dump Emperor to my grave. I then go ahead and summon Emperor by banishing Accelerator, summon it, do the burn damage, and search out Inferno. So what does this end board do? Well, we have the Burn Effect of Emperor, the Motion Negate of Inferno, and the Quick Effect Regeki offered by Reload as we still have Scattershot access. Then on the follow-up, we have plenty of cards like Accelerator and Ecclesia to get us going and win in the grind game. Now as for a showcase of the rivalry interaction, there's a hand that isn't great, but might still be game-winning going first. That is a hand of double rivalry, one Ecclesia, one Blaster, and one Trooper. Now for this hand, we go ahead and start off by just summoning Trooper, Search deck to hand, the Rimfire, discard Rimfire, summon a token, trigger Rimfire, and dump a shell just to get more cards in the hand. We go ahead and set Rivalry Warlords, pass, and flip it up. So while the sand board might look unassuming, it's actually a complete summon lock, as my opponent can only control one type of monster, that is Pyro, and there's a very good chance they won't be playing a Pyro deck, and they might just lose on the spot from this being flipped up. Now as for the deck actually in action against an opponent, here it is against an AI Sorcerer opponent. And it's a hand of Volcanic Trooper, Droplet, the Dear Servant, Volcanic Blaze Accelerator, and Volcanic Inferno. However, go ahead and activate Accelerator, come Accelerator, use Effect to Summon, Trooper, then search Rocket, Normal Summon Rocket, go ahead and grab Reload, discard Reload, Summon Token, this probably looks pretty familiar. Accelerator, Dump Room Fire, Banish Room Fire, Summon the Emperor, go ahead, and I do need your servant. And as we summon the Emperor, even though I already have Inferno in our hand, that's mostly because its burn damage effect is definitely valuable enough that even if I had to search, you still want it on the field. It's also a big attack monster that can threaten a lot of stuff. We go ahead and use your servant, drawing into punishment, which is pretty nice. Then set three. So as for what the send board does, well, we have droplets, punishment, inferno, and emperor, as well as the quick effect right gag key from reload. Now my opponent go ahead and summon Vashuda which I can respond to by going ahead and using Punishment, dumping Aurora, attempt to draw, get Ashed, they special summon Ecclesia, you see they keep getting burned, then before they can use Taya, I go and fire Reload to Raigeki with the Scatter Shots, doing extra burn damage and flipping Inferno so I have my Monster Negate live, I go and activate Emergence, search Taya, Normal Summon it, I go and negate its effects with Inferno, then Desire is activated, drawing two, and they just pass with Chalice. After destroying a monster I control by battle, her cycle of Inferno, I destroy Accelerator by dumping Rimfire, then dump Shell, use Shell's effect, search a card, summon Ecclesia, get Chaliced, but it doesn't really matter, as I already have Leaf on board because of all the burn damage. Now that you've seen the deck in action, it's time to have a quick run over of the deck list. To start off with, I'm running Emperor at one copy. Volcanic Emperor is the boss monster of the deck, with a very useful 3100 attack and a very easy summoning condition. It can be summoned from either the hand or graveyard by banishing three pyros or one blaze accelerator from your field or graveyard. Then when it's summoned, you can burn your opponent for 500 for each banished pyro, then set one volcanic trap from your deck to your field. An important thing to remember, you must inflict the burn damage to set the trap. 
then its last effect is its on-field effect, and has the ability to burn your opponent for 500 damage each time they special summon a monster. A sort of maxi-ish effect, which can be very strong, especially how much burn damage that can do. I'm also playing one blaster. While this card isn't legal in the TCG yet, it is in the OCG, and it will almost definitely be unbanned by the time we receive new volcanic support. It's a very strong going second card that is also great in the grind game. Two things this deck very much appreciates, especially since its cost to banish fires isn't too bad when you can just recycle them with Inferno. As for the last one of Fire Monster, I am playing one Volcanic Queen. While it isn't great for modern standards, it's still a very solid card because it's a searchable kaiju, something that's very slow to have. This deck's lack of easy extra deck access makes its ability to remove towers very valuable. And overall, it's a solid going second option, which is great for a deck as slow as this. The former best Volcanic Monster, Rocket is definitely still worth running at three copies. It's pretty much the best normal summon in the deck, as it can search any Blaze Accelerator, which is especially relevant with the new support. And Volcanic Trooper is a deck's new main summonable monster, and is a very strong one. If it's summoned, it searches any Volcanic card, skyrocketing the deck's consistency. The one thing to keep in mind, some cards like Blaze Accelerator Reload and Normal Blaze Accelerator aren't counted as a Volcanic card, so you can't search them with Trooper, unfortunately. But its second effect is a little odd, but very strong and far stronger than it appears. Not only does it let you discard a card which is used for stuff like Shell, it also puts a body on your opponent's board. This is pretty useful for the new Blaze Accelerator, allowing you to get extra setup, but can also do some despicable things with floodgates like Rivalry. I chose to still run Scattershot. While a triple Garnet or Ageki certainly isn't what it used to be, I definitely consider it to still be viable, at least in the pure version of the deck. Now, Rimfire is a deck's premier new low-level monster, and it has two very useful effects. When this into the graveyard, you can trigger either one, both being a hard once per turn. The first effect is to banish itself and send any volcanic from your deck to the graveyard, pretty useful with cards like Emperor. Then its second effect gives you the ability to swap a Blaze Exciter from your field, or banish one from the grave, for a different one from your hand or deck, bypassing their activation conditions. Which is a more niche effect, but can definitely still be useful, depending on the situation. I am still running Shell as it's definitely a must run. It gives plenty of card advantage and plenty of fodder and fuel for the new cards, like for example Volcanic Blaze Accelerator or Banishing Off of Emperor. It's as strong as ever. As for the spells, I chose to run the new Volcanic Blaze Accelerator at 2. You'll almost always be able to search it when you need it, and you're only able to control one, making it a questionable 3 of. In order to activate it, you must send the original Blaze Accelerator to the grave, forcing you to run a Garnet, unfortunately even though that Garnet is very valuable for summoning Volcanic Emperor. As for the card's actual effects, it has two soft ones per turn abilities. The first allows you to special summon any Volcanic from your hand, and the second allows you to destroy a monster opponent controls by sending a level 1 Pyro from your deck to the grave. This doubles as setup and removal, and is especially valuable given the deck's ability to summon tokens to your opponent's board, letting you send level 1 Pyros from its effect on your first turn, even if your opponent controls no monsters. For the moment, I'm still experimenting with Fire Ejection. The ever new spell. While it's likely the weakest of the new cards, a foolish barrel that can either inflict burn or summon a token to the opponent's field definitely still has value. Then, for the new trap card, I am running a Volcanic Inferno at 1. It's a very strong one, and is easily searched off of Emperor's search effect, or you can even search it off of Trooper. It doubles as both a monster negate at the cost of banishing a power from the grave and resource recycling by shuffling back volcanics from a graveyard or the banished during your opponent's end phase. And, as for the expected, Frey List still running Scattershot, I'm still running Triple Blaze Slayer Reload. While it is most notorious for its ability to quick effect Raigeki with the F4 mentioned monster, it is always a great setup tool that is definitely worth running. I chose to bring a small Dogmatic Engine, as with the help of Garura, it doubles as a pseudo-engage, as well as offering more interruption. While it can be hard to get Ecclesia on board turn 1, this deck is deep enough in the grind game that the follow-up is still very valuable, even though it takes a while to get started. That also helps quite a lot going second. Then Droplets is the board breaker I chose to run, as it's very synergistic with the deck, as you have plenty of discard fodder. But it can be subbed out for pretty much any other generic staple, say Ash Blossom if you want more fires in the deck. Now, Rivalry is not only an independently strong card, it also has the ability to instantly win the game in his deck. If you give your opponent a bomb token, they will not be able to summon anything 
unless they either out the rivalry or are also playing pyro monsters. And the latter is pretty unlikely, so there's a good chance he just wins the game on the spot, although it's definitely most useful going first. The extra deck is largely just filled with punishment and super poly targets, with a few generic links as well that might come up, as it can sometimes get a couple rockets and troopers on the field that don't do much. It's a very flexible extra deck, you can probably run whatever you want in it. As for the side deck, I'm just you know, showing examples, super poly because free extra deck space, and ghost match is also useful with a pyro token, although fire monsters are definitely more common than pyros, it can still be useful depending on the matchup. So in conclusion, I think the deck has a ton of potential. It's pretty consistent, amazing in the grind game, even if it's a bit slow, and has some abilities going second. And it still has a card left over to be revealed, so everything might change even more for the deck. I'm very excited to see how it plays out. Thank you for making this far into the video. If you liked it and want to see more in the future, please feel free to subscribe or leave any feedback you have in the comment section below.